greetings beautiful energies welcome into the channel for daily cancer love messages let's take a look what is going on for you today we're up and we are here so i feel like you have an admirer online doop, doop, on your social media okay cancer you have an admirer i'm also getting this admirer it could be in your local community okay or where you're from or like a pop-up shop i'm hearing or where you work or somewhere where you turn up this person they look at you and they smile like like you know that little weird shy smile you look up put your head a bit held down and you're smiling that's how this person is admiring you they may be complimenting you today i think they want to talk with you and they want to hear from you and i also feel strongly like say this person wants to show up the five of swords is the first card yeah i feel like you are captivating you could be a social worker or whatever you're seeing online i feel like you captivate this person with the five of swords card they just cannot stop watching you looking at you and they want to come over and speak to you that song um this person may be feeling like you're all they need right now and they're missing you this also could be a person you cut connections with for some of you this is actually like a father figure doom 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 um or a parental figure um i also feel like you followed your instincts and you spoke up about something and um this is pulling someone into you magnificently you're very attractive right now with that five of swords energy it's so weird that maybe because you had some standards and your boundaries and expectations and discipline and mastery of self or something like that, you end up manifesting some great powerful energies within yourself that you're so attractive. It's like people, this person or someone is feeling like they have got to be around you, right? Like, I feel like that energy where someone is, um, they're giving in to coming in toward you. Because it's like you're letting something go and allowing to with that Five of Swords energy. And I feel like you've somehow transcended or ascended into a level of mastery with that Five of Swords energy in this love reading. I promise it's like something great and a soulmate coming around you've broken some curse you've been waiting for some time i just feel like you're getting what you want and the universe is in agreement with you that it is time to expand and to clear out um like evil spells and trickery i feel like now you're in a place in your life beautiful soul where you're very discerning yeah destiny and renewal you're, you're very sure of what you don't want and so you know more of what you want and i feel positively that you are trusting the process forward and you are ready and you're calling someone into you and they are ready they're ready to this person right balance okay like this person is also like right here and they're ready to just hear you say step forward and they're so happy to be with you is the energy so let's see what your next card is okay prayer is this energy to like um this is a divine union and passion i'm telling you this is working out or this will work out pp energies maybe both of your names start with the same letters or both of you are into similar things both of you are in, um going down a similar road so you must meet all right this is the energy both of you are good for each other you're like wholesome like a warm wholesome bread with wholesome soup that's the energy like you serve well together you guys put together and make one prayer and passion it's about soul food nourishment it's about being delightful it's about feeling youthful young happy joyful blessed passionate about one another caring about one another you've been you've both been doing some great spiritual work when it comes to manifesting the other person i um, it's like really someone is even getting married someone could be named willie or someone will ask you will you marry me because this is that final stage right here where someone is stepping forward and is ready to seal the deal or make a commitment and move um like i hear conjunction 
into some in some happiness space with you and possibly even <laughs> creating some cubs okay someone is ready for like the house to be filled with laughter ah i don't know who that is but someone is and stuff like that okay the emperor card is on the table okay <laughs> so you could be dealing with a capricorn virgo taurus um this is a healthy person forward person straightforward person they know what they want They've put laid it down. Oh my gosh, on the line, they've just made it clear already. This could be your energy too. And so someone is someone is off your dream. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. 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 Someone is coming with a proposal, an offer. Um this may be about a drink, a dance, or an in investment in irritancism. Someone asking you, will you? I'm telling you. You're going to get something miraculous in your life. Someone may be pregnant. Someone may be coming with news that they are expecting. You can see someone glowing up like that energy. Someone, You're also about to be glowing up because imagine you feel like this is good news. They're going to share your good news that you're pregnant with someone. That's the energy, that radiance from inside out is the energy I'm feeling with that. Asa, that look, enlightenment with that ace of diamonds and the emperor card so some truth is coming out today as well or some presence or some result the result of something of how someone is feeling the energy could be yes and i'm getting you sure know it you sure well know it yes oh my gosh okay all right so let's look at this Someone may want to work with you. Oh my gosh, the Ace of Pentacles. This is like a dream come true offer. I also see a lot of riches. This is a part of your destiny, Cancer. Passion. Are you, prayer, generational curse breaker. Wow. Okay, your next card is the Three of Swords. All right, this offer may be coming from a sad energy, a sad person. Yeah, grief. I'm feeling like someone had some grief, grievousness. But I feel like um, that you you are blocked and protected from that energy, from anyone that this would be a test. There could be a test coming around for you to make a choice, but you're, I feel you're making the, the right choice because like I said earlier, you already are clear in who you are. You already know what you don't want. You've already learned some lessons. You already now know what it is that you want moving forward. So this is like something about last man. This is like an ultimate test about how you're going to be moving forward, choosing yourself and choosing the best life. This, this, the Emperor and the Ace of Diamonds is amazing. It's like good news that one is holding inside, like it's a yes. I hear courage, victim and despondence. Someone may have been afraid, a little bit hesitant, shy or feeling blocked in your life and um, confused. And so um, that's maybe where this offer is coming from. Maybe they weren't sure, but they really want to move forward. So this this good news is is what they're receiving. Like you said yes, or they will say yes to you, or something like this. Oh my gosh, joy and insecurity. Okay. Yes, is the vibration. The six of wands. So someone may come and tell you how, how you make them feel, how they think about you, how you light up their eyes, you're the fire of their eyes, self-worth. They want to, just someone wants to reassure you um, that they've got you, that, like they're not just into you for certain, for this or for that. They see that about you, but there's more to you. They want to get to know you more, deeper. This person, they want to spend time with you. This is the six of wands right they think you're hot attractive and amazing and like a fetch energy and so they are also afraid that they won't be able to keep you or to hold you but because that flame energy around you they also feel like you feel like afraid of settling down too so they want to tempt their energy around you to like um I don't know if it is insecurity, but they feel like maybe you, I keep hearing prognosis too. Maybe you feel like running again or distancing yourself. This person, they want to take their time to just sit in your energy and get used to your flame, get used to your feelings and um, allow you to, your energy to so, sort of like get used to them being there so that you they can like break through that that fire feeling of you and get to the warmth, sweet feeling.
feeling of your of you that they literally see when they see you that's the where they want to go that mm, energy okay so and they also want you to this person when they get into your energy you're going to become like royalty yeah you're going to see yourself as how they see you after that after like that sweet moment it's going to become like it's i don't i don't know how to put it into words but you're going to know you're going to know it's like you're gonna know you're gonna know it's like you're becoming man or woman or something okay that's oh my gosh it's the hierophant i feel like that's what they want to do they want to you're also being healed and comforted and loved and you are a healing for this person they want you to know that that's a message from them to you now is to tell you that they want to reassure you that you are good for them too you are a healing for them they're saying just because maybe you're not very giving now they want you to just relax and to just let your good sweet nectar vibration emit from yourself just let it flow because they like absorbing in it and basking in it and it's like sunset energy how you just just let it out i'm just i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna do this to you i'm not gonna take your energy for granted but just let it shine let it emit <sighs> It's like watching sun, sun, sunlight in liquid form, but it bubbles out of your body. Energy. <laughs> and this person is just like to do, feel it and dwelling it. Just sitting by you, watching the sunset, that essence, that the most natural feeling of yourself. They want you to feel it's okay to, to release that and to relax that in their presence. You know? They will, I feel like this person, they will love you even more as you let those walls down and let them in to your vibration because it's going to make them feel like you trust them. And for them, that is a big deal. That is a big thing. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we have father and we have God. Oh my God, you can make this person feel like the highest person in the world just by letting them into your vibration like this. They will feel like a, like a God. You will have this person acceptance. They will be yours. Just, it's so amazing. It's like, um, grooming and petting and taming and mating is the energy. Wow. Okay. And I love you. Judgment card, authenticity, realness. This is what souls be longing for up in this. To love you, I'm getting. Also, judgment card. I hear relax. I feel like you shouldn't worry about anything. I feel beautiful. So what you want is coming to you. It's being prepared or it is already it's on its way. He, she, whatever the case may be for you. Okay, so six of wands and the three of swords is there. Next card, the king of diamonds. And I know a lot of wealth around you. I'm also feeling like this person is, they're very wealthy or you're very wealthy, very rich, prominent, successful, have some type of a status in life or a signature position, All right? And I think they want to make you a partner. Oh my gosh, the four of wands. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, they want to make you a partner for their unit. That's the four of wands. Mm -hmm. That's a marriage partner. Hierophant, business partner, love partner. It's you. It's you. It's you. Perseverance. It's you. Like, it is you. Four of Wands is the, one of my best cards in a love reading. It's like, no matter what they say, it's you. I just, and, and it's about you believing this and knowing this about yourself, Cancer. Four, four, four vibration. Yeah, it's time for you to know. It's time for you to get this healing. It's time for something to get straight to your heart, this feeling. All right, this blessing, <laughs> boy. Okay, beautiful soul that you're about to receive. This is good. It's good self worth. What you are receiving too, it's like sweet nectar dripping into your soul space. All right, it's like painting you from inside out. It's a vibration. This person is a master artist, and their brush is about to imagine a magic, a magician painting. And it's like when they start, it's a master artist like a buck or a Beethoven or one of those people. Like they're good with the, they're good with the wand. They're good. They're good with their direction. They just they good. They know what they're doing, right? Um, yeah, I'm sure. 
Okay, this is what is for you. Alright, and oh my gosh! <sighs> Someone is gonna ask you to marry them. Will you marry me? Look, and you're gonna say yes, Cancer. You're gonna say yes. And the, oh my gosh, look, the king and the queen. I told you this. I don't know what else to say. Hold on, I don't know what else. This divine union will be heralded in by universal spirits, angels, and guides. The ace of diamonds is the most authentic, realist, genuine proposal offer. And the king and queen of diamonds showed up and right in between that is the four of wands which is one of my favorite cards in the deck for love the emperor and the hierophant this is like marriage marriage proposal in the presence of the most high generational you both have transcended or ascended or passed tests in your lives the energies you both don't worry about anything i keep i'm gonna research prognosis this is happening this is the divine union. This is this is Sila. This is happening, Cancer. This is it. This is marriage. This is union. This is a significant other. This is, I, I this I told you both of you have this sweet king nectar. I've to head it that, both of you have this sweet nectar energy. Both of you have it. For the four of wands, the king and the queen of diamonds, the ace of diamonds. Both of you are healed. You're healthy. You're wealthy. You're high value. Oh my goodness. Both of you are looking for the same thing. It's like both of you were made for one another. That's what's up. That is what is here. And you're both being matched. And this is a match made in heaven. This is what both of you be praying for and asking for. This is it. You cannot go wrong with this energy. You cannot go wrong with it. You may cry. Whatever this person is coming around to say with you, it may cause you to shed tears. Okay, balance. Balance. Okay. This may cause you to, this is a royal procession of the whole, this is, um, this is amazing. It's a good thing that you stood up, you knew yourself, you spoke your truth, your truth. Yeah, it's a good thing that you had clarity and you let go of certain things and you started looking forward to the better things in life. It's a good thing you believe in yourself. I love this so very much. I am so proud of you both for all of you. Big up yourselves, all the best on your journey. I wish you health, wealth, strength, more love, prosperity, more well-being in union, in self. You're building strength, raising the bars, investing together. Both of you are rich, you know, wealthy, healthy, prosperous, growing, flourishing, fertile and ready. Both of you are gods, goddesses up in this divine Look at the and the emperor. So a masculine energy is gonna show up more prominently. Something about school, like someone really wants you. But we'll see this. I love you very much. Take it easy out there. All is well. All is within you. Compliments online. Look, even the three of diamonds is here. So I know both of you working together, making all kind of unions together. Maybe building a school together, starting over together, going to school together, or you go to the same school, or you do the same type of work, or something like that. All right. So big up yourselves. Much love. Much blessings.